Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Open TTD. Last time we hooked up these coal mines. And because we did, there are a lot of trains on this network right now. So what I'm going to do is create an express line that bypasses uh, all these stations and hooks up this line to this line, basically. So what would be the best way to do that without creating a ton of bridges? But still being a faster path. Hmm. It's an interesting question. This is just not acceptable anymore. Yeah, of course they can't find a path to continue. No, we don't. No, we don't actually want to uh, make it come up over here. We actually would want something like this. Just a second path. Hmm. Or I'll create a bigger bypass over here. No, you know what? I think I'll create it over here. Wait for a second to get this cleared. I have one of these, I guess. Yes. Now, how long should we make this bridge? I think... Just like this. And then go around here. Maybe. And have them come up over here. So, uh, this is a left line, so the trains are going in from here and coming out that way. Oh, but there's of course a signal way. Uh, so it's coming out over there and going there. some signs let's see if any trains will actually take this yeah so at least the coal trains are taking it but will any of the other trains take it is a big question So this train is still on oh no, it's going to the train. So are there any trains? Yeah, so the route trains are still taking the long way or the well the busy way. Ooh a diesel locomotive, which is actually more powerful than the one we have. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let this be for a second and think about that later. First, what I want to do is, do we still have any of the, the very cheap trains? Uh, it's a thousand horsepower. I think that's one of the cheap ones, right? Because 
yeah, those have 1600. So what we want to do is uh, no not group. I should be able to do this. Uh, replace vehicles and any chancy uh, jubilees, which we still have the old trains. We want to switch them out for UU37 diesels. Uh, these ones as well, I think. You know what? We can't start. Uh, that's a burst diesel locomotive. No. And this one as well. Oh, they actually have the same top speed. Slightly less running cost, less reliability, it's less heavy, it has more horsepower. You know what, I'll keep the SHHPs for now. Just for uh, a few more years till they actually get old, or till we actually get a much better diesel train. I think we alleviated some stress from the network by uh, creating this little express route. <coughs> At least our uh, five or six coal trains aren't taking uh, the busy route anymore, and that's very important. Uh, and there's actually not that much coal here anymore. We might have overdone it a little bit. Uh, What train is he waiting? On this one? No. Hmm. Going to need train one is last. Uh bro. You can't go that way. Oh, just because I put in a signal. Well, that's just great. In the meantime, our little headquarters train is doing fine. Is it actually making any money? It's actually making money. It made 29,000 guilders last year. Sweet. The intersection still struggles to handle some of the traffic, but it's getting there. In the meantime, oh, there is actually coal uh, piling up here. It's just that some of the coal trains are very close together. So it's really a good thing that we have to many. In the meantime, we can add some, uh, some livestock and grain trains to get one of the new locomotives and just, uh, get one livestock train and buy a new locomotive okay, no crane hoppers there we go only they're all on the wrong train for some reason uh, can I wait wait it's stupid this is very stupid There we go. This is less stupid. <laughs> Let's make it go to Masmont Mines and then continue its path all the way here to the factory. Fully load any cargo and unload everything over here while not loading. Yes, I know Train 24 doesn't have enough orders. Because I'm giving it any. Okay, which is reserved. Uh, let's give this train the same orders. Because it's basically the same train, only with different goods. And let's. Let it go. Wait. 
did I give you the right orders? Oh, no, I did not. Let's stop you for a second. There we go. You should turn around, yes. You did. Good. You've started loading. Now, I'll start creating a duplicate train over here for both of them to be released uh, once they leave the station. So there was the livestock, let's send a new one in. We actually made a lot less this year because we have been building and buying trains. See, we uh, bought 1.3 million in new vehicles because we replaced a whole bunch of old steam locomotives. The train is actually not going that fast. Ah, now we got uh, the one we were invited to test. Let's see, is the livestock one already on its way back? Yes, it is. It's over there. And it's able to handle uh, the traffic quite nicely. So I think we can find a path to continue. Oh, right, because there's a train in its way. There we go. There are 370 tons of goods there. Wow. I might not be able to transport all the goods anymore. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, for the last thing we do this episode, add another track here. There we go. And we could just uh, make it accessible from this one. Like this, so it will still take that one. I didn't place any signals over here. Oh, no, I did. Oh, there's just a train in the way. Why didn't it take uh, the empty one over there? It was still on. Ooh. Now, that one is much, much faster than the one we have. So, we can actually start... Where's the button again? That is the yes, uh, central... No, not central. Replace it. Uh, replace any old steam trains we have with the FLOS 47. Because it just it has a thousand more horsepowers, so it must be better. Anyway, thank you all for watching another episode of Let's Play Open TTT. I'll see you all later.